Hey guys, like I said, we need to make sure that your guitar is suitable and ready to be played. So, let's check it out. Now, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the action of the guitar. Now, I'm not talking about your favorite Chuck Norris movie here. Okay? <laughs> I'm talking about the guitar's action. And what that refers to is the height of the strings off of the guitar. So, this kind of distance here. So, now I'll just have a look at your guitar in your lap. Now, if you got high action, if your strings are really high, you can imagine how tough that's going to be to press your fingers down. You know, that's just going to be so much work. Now, if your strings are nice and low, then you're going to have a way easier time playing because then you don't have to press down nearly as much. Okay? So that's the first thing I want you to make sure. Now the second thing that we need to make sure that our guitar is suitable is if we're in tune. Yikes! That's crazy, hey? So what's going on here is my guitar is savagely out of tune. And that just goes to show the importance of having an in-tune guitar. And it's gonna be vital to your performance and your journey throughout these videos. So no matter how good you are, if your guitar is out of tune, it's just gonna sound bad, okay? So it's really important that the first thing that you do when you pick up your guitar and practice is you're gonna tune your guitar straight up. There's about four strings in there that slipped out. All right, now the only thing that has changed here is an in tune from an out of tune guitar, right? I'm still, I'm still Will Ripley, right? And I'm gonna play the exact same song, but the difference here is my guitar is in tune. Watch this. Wow, what a huge difference. Okay, so go through all your strings. You can learn the names of the strings while you're doing this, E, A, D, G, B, E. And now you got an in-tune, ready-to-go guitar. Let's learn how to play this thing. 